Hello, welcome to Plutus Experience Module 5. But before we start, let me remember a few things. Subscribe and tick the bell to receive notifications on new videos. If you comment and share with other devs that might find this useful. If you are coming here for the first time, you probably should start on the first video. The link is in the video description. In this module, I'll introduce you some more fundamental uh, type class of PureScript and Haskell, and we'll solve an exercise with the knowledge we have so far. The link for the source code and the presentation in the, is in the video description. Apply and applicatives. Let's remember something. Let's remember functors before we start this. So remember last module we saw functors and here we have a box set type and we have the number two in this box and that's was the context we saw uh, in the last module. Here we are applying some function this case plus three to that number two. So we can have five. So basically we have a function a to b here and we're applying this function to the number two. And because we can't just pass the box set value to the plus three, you know, uh, so we need to use the functor to extract the number two from the box set type, sum then, sum, sum it with the number three or more precisely apply the function in this case, plus three to the number two, uh, which returns the number five, and wrap rewrap that number in that box set type again. That's basically the functor behavior. So this is the functor type class, as we saw before. Here we have the map member, and the first argument of this map member uh, is the function, like this plus three, a to b. So we have any e and any b here. And a second argument map receives some f e. So this f stands, it's a high kind of type. This f must receive something. And the something that this f is receiving is the e. So we have two polymorphic types here. One is the f, which is, is the functor, and other is the internal value of the functor. So we apply this to the f functor and it should return the same f functor with the new b. We kind of transform the internal value of the f into fb. So fe and we turn that with this transforming function into fb. And here we have the operator for map. So just remember, we can now with that type class, we can pass some function like plus three, which is gonna, it's gonna take an inch because uh, the, the plus function expects uh, a type that matches this tree, which is an inch. So uh, plus three in this case is gonna re it's gonna it's gonna get uh, as argument the inch value, and it should return a new int. And the map function is applying this function to the value inside of the maybe here. So we build the maybe with the just type constructor uh, and we add the int value. So we have the matching type here. So this returns the just five, basically this picture here, the same thing in code. So let's see a functor problem because functor is not perfect. What happens when you map a function that receives more than one argument? For example, we have plus, plus here, and plus, if you take a look at the type signature of plus, is basically this. So it's an infix operator for the add, fun add function, and the add function receives an int, uh, two ints, and return a new int. In this case, what happens if we apply the operator, like the function receiving many arguments and not only one like here, because here we have just one, right? So because we have one, one argument, we can fulfill this type of signature here, a to b, and return that correctly, as expected. But when we add a function that has more than one argument, like a to b 
and then to C, for example, which is the case of the plus here, we have A to B to C. But actually, plus is the same type for everything, but the, the idea is uh, having many arguments, you know, more than one. So in this case, plus have two arguments. So in this case, plus has two arguments. And when we pass the function here to this just three, what's going to happen is that the map function is going to look, okay, I have a function that takes int and returns a function int to int, right? So the int to int is our, in this case, in this context, our B value. So, so the E is going to be the first E here and int to int is going to be the B value here. So in this case, we're going to have wrapped here we are, we are basically passing some plus here instead of plus three. So this do, this does not fulfill our arguments of the plus function. So we're gonna wrap again in the in the box a function a to b, basically. So that means that the return from this is gonna be just plus three because we're applying this only the three value here to the first argument. So it returns. The function return the second argument for plus. So basically this function here is inside of the just now. So we have the maybe inch to inch inside. So this this works. I mean the code is working, is building correctly, but now I don't have a way of fulfilling the argument inside of this box set type. So imagine that I need to fulfill now this this value here from plus like with two to give uh, our number five i will not have a way to do that and that's a problem we need to solve that somehow yeah that's basically what is happening with this y here so in this y we have some x and i can't just place a map here because this map is going to expect a function e to b you know so this map is going to expect a function e to b and we have the function e to b here but the function is wrapped in the box set type so we can't just pass the x value here because differently from this case here where we had just the function here is e to b here in this case we have some given f which stands for maybe and then inside of this f e to b we have a conflict here so we we need to have some function that has this type signature to, for this works uh actually this is the, the 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 map type signature so you can see that this uh interrogation here can't be the map because the map is e to b what we need here is some wrapped value here so we it it must have some f before this to allow us to to use something like that no it's of course it's gonna be a new function not that because this this has been created for uh, for functions which are not wrapped in box set types you know as opposed to, to the one that we are tr willing to create here so what we need to do, what we need to build here, what we need to place here to have this result, this desired result, which is the y having the just five, you know, in this case, in this scenario, because our x has a maybe a wrapped in function a to b. So uh, basically, we need to have this this logic here. So this is the operator we are building. This is called the apply operator. And we have the example right here. So imagine that we have a box set value a to e to b. So we have just plus three here, which is a function that takes the second value, which is the two, right? And to produce the five. So, but in this case, it's wrapped. So what's the difference from the functor? Again, what's the difference for the functor? This is important to understand. Uh, the functor the, does not have this just here. That's the only difference. Look, this is the functor. The functor just have plus three. 
and the apply have the just plus three and not only plus three so that's the the only difference between apply and functor so they do the same thing like the this is gonna wrap both values so on the right side and the left side so this is different from the functor because the functor only needs to wrap the second value and not both values so uh, this is the functor doing its job but the apply to to work this way it's gonna need to wrap both both box and values so it's gonna need to wrap the two from the just from the maybe and also the plus three from the maybe and after that then he can uh apply the given function which is inside of the box to the the value inside the box to give a new box set value with the result wrapped again so that's the, the apply, apply uh operator here okay. so let's look at the type class we're going to use also type class to create this uh function and you can be asking wondering why why we are using type class and we just create a new a function for to do that and the answer is sim simple again we use type class to allow us to work in with any type to generalize to any type to overload functions to work with any types if i had if i have to create a, a function for each type i'm gonna use you're gonna have a huge body plate, body plate and code duplication so to avoid that we need to have type class and so type class allow us to generalize that that functor and also apply in this case so apply can work with any type and not only with the examples we are giving here for example here's apply so basically the same thing as functor uh, and it also depends on the functor that's an important thing and the reason is basically because to to create the instance for apply you're gonna need to know wrap values from from the data type so because of that we're gonna use the functor to apply functions to the data type so that's why we depend on the functor on the same type so apply here receive as the first argument the f wrapped the function so we have the function wrapped in the in the in the given uh, f and as the second argument we pass uh another box set type so we pass this f e then it should return an fp so it basically wraps this e to b apply to uh, this e to b function to wrap the value so the e value this returns the b which is going to be returned wrapped again in the same f here and this is the infix operator for apply so now we can with that type class in of course having the instance because you need to have to implement the instance i'm not showing you here but you can check this out in the pursuit if you're like curious on how this is implemented it's pretty simple so now we can map like before so we can map plus on just two so the same thing this is going to return a function in wrap in the maybe right then to resolve this function wrapped in the maybe to some actual value and to apply the value to this uh to this function here we're gonna use the apply so that fulfills this operator here with this apply and with that we're gonna have just five maybe inch here so we're gonna apply to the plus three function value three in this maybe wrapped value here uh, wrapped type so it returns the just five so we can have like this chaining so we can simplify that so we can have that one liner doing everything and when we because the the order here on the things operator uh we can chain them together like this and it's gonna always start from the left to the right so because this is a fixed left so it's gonna resolve first this map so this is going to return the the wrapped value on plus three then we apply this wrapped value in plus three to just three and then this is going to return just five maybe inch 
And it's interesting to note that we can actually do the same logic to fulfill a number of arguments. So we can, for example, here in this full, I have some given function taking n arguments and I'm mapping this to the first computation, which is going to produce some argument. So I'm getting the return from that, which is going to be a new function taking some new argument. And I'm going to apply that to the new computation, return a new value, same thing as here, and so on, and so on, and so on, again, and again, and again, until I fulfill all arguments, and then I return the actually function, uh, final function application uh, to the full value. So this is really nice feature of uh, Haskell and pure script and it basically allow us to uh, declare parallel code in a way in a declarative way you can easily manage dependence on the code this is the, the hint here nothing says that this computation must have sequentially I mean the, the computation here does not need to happen only when you're like evaluate this line in the compiler that's not true. The compiler can split these expressions and like f try to fulfill in parallel all the arguments. So it, it can try to fulfill all arg arguments in parallel. Then when having the required argument, applying this to the function in, in a parallel way. So it allow, allow us much more uh, much more things on top of that. And I'll show that in the future we have a type class called f for parallel things on pure script that basically um, add this behavior on parallel computation. But you can also use this in a lot of other things uh, like validation for types, for data types and things like that. Uh, I'll not end on this uh, if you're looking for, for how you can use this to validate uh, inputs for example parse inputs and things like that you can take a look at the book uh peer script book there's on one chapter called applicative validation which is really nice and show how to apply this concept to to do this job so of course there are problems on applies applies not perfect so let's let's see